morning everyone today is a day where i think i'm gonna get laid off why do i know that well there are a couple of signs that have been brewing about but two days ago twitch just had mass layoffs and this morning i believe google also laid off a thousand people not that those layoffs impact our layoffs but we do have an emergency all hands at 10 a.m and there are just other little signs that were there that i will share if i do get laid off <sighs> I need to download all my passwords because I don't save my passwords properly. I need to do my, all my benefits, make sure all of my things in the HR portal are updated to the current email address so I can still have contact with the company. I might do some benefits today. I uh, just came back from leave, so that's fun. So I need to make sure all the paperwork is done there. I didn't get fully paid out. So that's gonna be a struggle. I am gonna find the emails of HR and just like jot them down just in case my accounts get deactivated. No, I'm not calm right now. I feel like I'm gonna puke, but I'm gonna hold it in. If it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. Sometimes layoffs are a blessing in disguise. Let's get working. Hi y'all, I am popping in to say that I originally had the entire reaction in this video, but I'm deciding to take that out because it was pretty shocking and I just don't wanna spread any negative vibes here. I mostly wanna focus on how I'm bouncing back from this and help people who are going through this move on. All hands happened and then that's when we found out there would be layoffs at the company, 17%. It's a lot of people. And then 30 minutes later, I got an email saying that I was part of the layoff group. I obviously was very shocked and then Kevin came in for some emotional support and then my work bestie called for more emotional support. Here's the rest of it. Hi, are you all right? I saw your Instagram post, that's why. <laughs> hey look, so I can't pay for a lot of your things anymore. No worries. I just wanna make sure that you're all right. I can probably do most of my own stuff right now because you know, my job and all that shit. We gotta work hard, Ethan. We have your tuition to pay, Ethan. No, not my tuition. Dad saw my message, but isn't joining. Oh my god, he's ghosting you. <laughs> Hi y'all, now it's 2.30 p.m. We have an HR info session for all how pay is gonna go down, how severance is paid, when are we going to get our like agreements for leave. Yeah, I don't know, this is my first time. Hi mommy, hi daddy. Hey, Dad, why do you keep saying that? Oh, even if you get pregnant, that means you're gonna increase a lot of burden. Now, if you get a lot of burden, so you get laid off, the whole that's a nightmare. Dad, 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 guess what? What? I survived teenage pregnancy. <laughs> Because it's a big problem in America, but I survived, Daddy. Oh, this is not a problem, okay? Are you proud of me? I survived. So? Till this day. Girl, you're 30 this year, right? <laughs> Did you just call me girl? <laughs> oh, Papa. Hola. Bye bye. Bye bye, I love you. Bye bye, I love you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey babies, we're back. The weekend has passed. I had some time to process. Grab some water and some tea because I'm gonna share some thoughts with you today. Ugh. So last week, Thursday, I got laid off. Chaotic. <laughs> it was so busy. There was like a whole checklist of things that I had to do. And then I told my family, bless their souls. And I was kind of sad because I wanted to tell the team, but I couldn't because my account got shut down. So I had to text my work besties to send them in a message on my behalf, telling them I say goodbye. Then I posted on LinkedIn, which I think a lot of you saw. And I got a ton of DMs sharing job opportunities and referrals. And I feel so supportive. I think I might compile a list of companies that are hiring to help other people who are looking for jobs this year. But boy, I am not looking forward to interview prep hell. Ugh. It just comes with industry and it'll be good for for me to work on again because I'm working on the PM course and I think I'm doing interview prep as well. So kind of good timing in that sense. If you're doing interview prep this year, I just want to say we are in this together. Doing this by yourself is not the move, not in this economy. I'll help the PMs with my videos, but if you're a software engineer, which I realize a lot of you are, my friends at Formation have your back. And they're also the sponsor of today's video. Formation is a technical interview prep program for software engineers and it's the first one powered by AI. So if your interview game's kind of rusty, for 
Formation tailors a custom learning plan based on where you're at today, showing you the right content, mentorship, and job hunt activities so it's not so overwhelming and you know how it is. And today is the launch of Tira, which is a free 45 minute coding test that tells you exactly what you need to work on to crush those tech interviews. I don't think I've ever shared this before, but your girl can code just a little bit. I took the test too and got through like five questions. Tell me how many questions you got through. And if you're job hunting or not, I think you should still try taking the Tira test. Always good to brush up on your interview skills. And it's also free with my unique link right here. Formation, thank you so much for sponsoring. Y'all are the best. Now back to the video. I also did a lot of social things and I got invited to an alumni meetup in SF, but I can't go cause I'm in LA. <laughs> this week I have a couple of HR transition meetings with my layoff class, layoff class of 2024. I wanna address something real fast. I got a lot of comments saying that I look so put together, so productive, I could never. No girl, leave me in the lunchy bots all. I am sleeping at 5 a.m. every night, waking up at noon, having nightmares. I've canceled things I've said yes to, showed up to things I said no to. Chaos. And the only thing that is keeping me together is making these videos because it forces me to sit down and reflect. So Chloe, how do you actually feel about all this? Are you okay? Um. Surprisingly, all things considered, I actually think the layoffs were executed pretty well. I know that's kind of a strange take. Yes, I was shocked, but I didn't take it personally. It is aligned with what I believe the C-suite should be doing to take to the next level. As far as layoffs go, I think this was done right by the book. Like this is how I see CEOs get coached to do it. The announcement was short and to the point. They didn't overpromise. They didn't over sympathize. They laid us off in the new year, not before the holidays, which would have really sucked. They are keeping us on payroll until the next best day. And they didn't have to do that, but they did. They showed us that they wanted to take care of us through equity. They also answered all of the F FAQs in the first announcement post, like severance, benefits, next steps, communication. There were no leaks. Twitch had two layoffs in the last year or so. Both of them were leaked. As an employee, you found out layoffs were happening from the news. It's pretty bad. From an HR and comms perspective, I think they did pretty good job, especially for a traumatizing situation. Emotionally though, it's a mix of shock, relief, dread, shame. I almost don't think it's real, but it is real. Yeah, maybe it'll hit me harder later, but for now, my motto is onwards and upwards. Oh wow, I can start smelling this now. This is nice. This is from Velu Spa. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's nice. So you might be wondering, Chloe, what's next? I actually think that the plan is pretty much the same as the vision board that I made in the last video, except that I would have to find a new job at some point. I mentioned this on my LinkedIn post, but I am taking design classes at Art Center and classes starting this week. I just got the syllabus. I signed up to be a foster parent for a dog shelter. So I gotta go to training slash orientation. I'm working on launching my podcast. So hopefully that'll come out soon. We figured out the name. I gotta do a photo shoot for the cover art. I'm going all out on this. I'm working on the course and I'm flying out to Taiwan soon. There's a lot of like secret special projects I'm working on there. I'm also gonna be checking out wedding venues. I know, I know. And yes, I'm gonna take you through it all. It's gonna be a very vivid 2024. I'm basically a full-time content creator though before I take on my next job. I've always wanted to try it, but I was always too scared and too busy. But now that decision has been made for me. So I'm gonna go full send. This is also gonna be my main source of income for my mortgage and to support my brothers in school. I'm gonna shamelessly put myself out out there. If you know of anyone or any companies who are doing brand deals, that would be lit. You can email me here. <laughs> I gotta shoot my shot, okay? But you know, I would never let you down. You know my quality of work. You know how seriously I take this as a hobby. Now I gotta apply the discipline I have in my work to this, which is the scariest part to me. I'm pretty excited to see how it evolved during this special chapter of my life while interview prepping too. Anyways, thank you so much for all your DMs, your comments, your messages, your support. Next video is actually going to be the living room tour unless something crazy happens between then and now, but that is the plan. As always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye y'all. Choice.